Good day, I'm Jamie. You may know me as the author of the amazing series of books, JavaScriptancy, that makes the JavaScript sorcery and fantasy. Or you may know me from um, the Barbarian Mix Coding blog, where I do the same thing. So mix uh, programming with fantasy and weird stuff. Or you may not know me at all, in which case, I'm Jamie, nice to meet you. Today I'm here to talk to you about how you can become a more productive developer with VS Code and Vim. So, if you're a... Let's go into the editor. So if you're a developer that has never used Vim uh, and use VS Code or any other editor known to mankind, you will go inside your editor and you will just type stuff which doesn't work. You will go inside your editor and whenever you type anything in the keyboard, those keys will be reflected in the screen. That's how most editors work. So now imagine that there was this special mode uh, where you could go and you could use the keyboard to make special combos that could change the text in different ways. You could use the same keys that you normally use to type text, but instead of uh, inserting text like usually, what would happen would be like magic combinations that alter the text instead. So for instance, so for instance, let's say that we're here and so let's say that we're here in this creative method and now we see uh, that we have the let function config uh, variable declaration. And now we say that we want to change the let for a const. So let's say that we use uh, our first combo to search for things. This is the search operator in Bing. We do uh, forward slash let, bam. And then we go to the next let, let occurrence. Now we use another combo, which is called uh, change inside word uh, that we can use to change any uh, word at will, and now we can change it for something else. And now, bam, we've changed something using the same keys that you normally use to insert text. Uh, we use this amazing mode where you can use fighting combos to alter your text. We have another combo that is a repetition combo. You type dot and you can repeat the last change. And we have yet another combo that is and that lets us uh, search. Uh, the next occurrence of a match, in this case let, we can type n, 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 go to the match that we want to change, we type dot, and now we see how that has changed. We can do the same, the same, the same, and only with a couple of uh, keys, n for next, and dot to repeat the last change, we're making a lot of progress in our coding. So let's summarize what we've learned here. Uh, we've learned a combo to search for something, we've learned another combo for changing a word, and we've learned another combo for repeating the last change. With very few keys, we can make a lot of damage. Now let's say that we want to go to a different file and then we're gonna, another thing that I like a lot the use very much is um, this other combo that allows you to change uh, the staff inside quotes. So this, again, we use the, the, again, we use the normal keys that we normally use for typing, but now they have special meaning, special uh, combos that you can run. In this case, let's say that we want to change inside quotes because we want to change that string. And now we want to call this ed that was never will be instead. And now that is change. We can, again, like before, if we were to go to, to the line uh, seven round down there, we could type dots and we can re repeat the last change with the repetition combo. So uh, this is just some of the things that you can do with this uh, special mode in Bing. This special mode that gives you special powers to alter and edit text at the speed of thought, it's what well, it's called normal mode in Beam. It is called normal mode because it's the default mode. This is the, the mode uh, in which Beam expects you to operate most of the time. So what is so cool about Beam? The cool thing about Beam is that it gives you that special mode in which you can using the same keys that you normally use for typing. They're super near your fingers, super comfortable. You don't need to make weird key combinations. Using those keys, you can execute special combos that let you edit and alter your test, your text at the speed of thought. 
we've seen uh, preview examples of that, but there's a lot more that you can learn. And there's not only normal mode, there's also visual mode, there's um, command line mode, uh, there's a lot of different modes that give you different abilities. And that's one of the things that is so cool about Beam, that it has all these different modes uh, in which the keyword is a clean slate and you can reprogram the keyword to perform all these different actions using normal keys and no weird combinations. So if you're interested, if I picked your curiosity, there is a lot more for you to learn. First, there is a uh, free book that you can read online. It's called Who's Your Coding Food? So you go to Barbarian It's Coding, that is my blog. You see the cool animations, you scroll down, you see more cool animations, and here you get like a commercial where you can learn more. Uh, and here is where you can find the book itself. So if you go here, you have, there's some books, there's some videos. You can read the book free online. There is a table of contents with a lot of things that you can learn about Beam in VS Code. There's a cheat sheet to give, that gives you all the keys with all the things they do in every chapter, so it's very nice. And then um, in addition to the book itself, you have a collection of videos where I guide you through uh, how you can improve uh, your productivity with Beam inside Visual Studio Code uh, in a, a step at a time in very short videos of about from one to three minutes. And that's it. I hope that this video has sparked your interest into Beam and Visual Studio and that you're ready to start this journey of awesome productivity combos and uh, magic and things. So take care, uh, be kind to each other, hug each other, spread the love. Bye.